So this is a seed planter that we built in Thailand. And we have dressed this one up with some uh, marker to put it on display here. But uh, this is the device itself. And if you have, I have a screwdriver in my pocket. I'll open it up for you so you, right. you can see a little more of how it works. But we'll, we'll show you this first. Um, the device performs three functions. First, it, well, four functions. First, it stores rice. So this is just a PVC pipe and the rice that's going to come out gets stored in here. And it may seem, uh, you know, simple enough uh, as an idea, but it's very different than carrying it around in a backpack or a pocket or a pouch or anything like that. So it makes it a lot more convenient. Uh, the second thing it does is meter the correct amount of rice to come out at, at the right time. And again, we've all used gumball machines and usually the right amount of gumballs or, you know, M&Ms or what have you come out. But we came up with a novel way to do that. And it's in fact novel enough that we have a patent pending on this device. And after the right amount has been metered out, when you actuate it, a spike comes out to drill the hole where the rice is going to fall. As you let this come back up, the rice falls right down into that hole. So and it, uh, it actually recoils with this uh, slingshot that we have tied onto the end there. So the operation just goes that you have your soil here, you'll just um, strike the soil with it, let it go, and then move on to your next spot. Strike the soil, lift it up, and go. Exactly. And as I mentioned that, um, it reminds me that of another advantage we weren't, uh, didn't really flesh out is how could it be more efficient. With this kind of a device, it's a lot easier to get the 10, 20, 40 people to sweep a field in a logical way. So to plant in rows or some kind of a pattern, that means you'll get better density and uh, you should have better luck with runoff and things like that rather than just doing it randomly. Okay. Um, so the, the details of the design are all uh, embodied in the manual and will be in the second manual that we put out. So this is a bit of a cutaway view of the device itself. And we have a piece of PVC here that holds a couple of pieces on the inside using some screws. And they all have different names. Uh, I think this is the, well, this is the chute on the outside. Uh, well, I guess before I get to that, uh, you'll have a diverter here that we call. Um, and that can be made of wood or bamboo. And we have a spike on the end or a spear I think we call it a spear that gets embedded into that so it's a solid uh, piece, all of this together. This diverter shoves the rice into the chute that's hanging on the outside and then only the right amount will fall into this area and be allowed to fall into the hole. And this is what I was talking about with the PVC that has to slide over. So you have to have the right dimensions in order to do that. And this spear will come out and then the spring will allow it to come back, the rice falls into the hole. So that's all it is. It's entirely mechanical, relatively simple operation. It's certainly something you could explain to somebody uh, in short order. And each piece itself isn't very complicated to make. So um, it's an example of taking some concepts that are pretty easily understood and then putting them to good use.